Vikas Yadav has moved Delhi High Court for grant of parole for two months. He is one of the three killers of Nitish Katara who is serving a 25-year jail term without remission. Now, this plea comes days after Manu Sharma, who is another convict in this case and uh, had his parole extended uh, for some education. My colleague Minakshi is joining on the phone line for more. Minakshi, why is he seeking parole first? Well, as we have seen in the Manu Sharma case uh, recently, on some pretext or the other, of course, in Manu Sharma's case, the facts of the case were different given the fact that he wanted to have his marriage registered uh, and also pursue his education, which uh, exams of which he was uh, he was not flunking. So that was one ground which was weighing heavily uh, in the mind of the Honorable Delhi High Court. But in this present instance of Vikas Yadav, perhaps he has derived some hope from Manu Sharma's experience and is seeking parole uh, to complete some work, unfinished work of his, as his lawyer claims. But clearly, given the fact that uh, unlike uh, Manu Sharma's case, in the case so Vikas Yadav, the Delhi government, the state in this particular instance, plans to stiffly oppose any such plea seeking parole before the Honorable Delhi High Court.